All right, we are back with another quick video for you guys. We have seen this floor plan before. Around most of it. So this one has the beautiful front porch. You have the beautiful blue siding and you have a side entry here where you could easily add on a carport shed or a barn, garage, anything like that. walking around out here but look at this beautiful uh siding you have here you have a vertical siding up here and your uh siding down at the bottom cedar shake siding down at the bottom this one has so much dimension and it looks really like a house doesn't look like a modular or a mobile home or anything like that so very beautiful beautiful uh, front door you have this nice little foyer here you can put a little table here kind of decorate it uh, for the seasons I love these uh, five panel doors for all of the doors of the bedrooms and the closets and everything that Arnell does uh, you do have this nice coat closet right at the entry and then you walk into this massive massive great room so you have beautiful furniture. Uh, you can really see how it could be staged very nicely. You have your double pane windows that fold in for easy cleaning. Uh, you have enough space for a very big uh, six seater dining room table with also enough space for probably four people at the bar. This uh, particular home has the black stainless steel appliance package. So you have the built-in microwave, you have the flat top uh, Whirlpool stove, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. And you have the farmhouse sink to match with the chef's faucet. And you have this beautiful um, refrigerator as well. We need to keep some snacks in there. <laughs> um, so you have the stainless steel appliance package with these two beautiful windows that kind of let in a ton of natural light into the kitchen of these open uh, shelving units up there for decoration. And you could also put quite a bit of stuff above the cabinets if need be. You have these, all these can lights, so ton of light in the kitchen, especially at night when you're cooking for the family. And uh, you have these beautiful hardwood cabinets with soft closed doors. And you have this trim piece that they put underneath it, which I really like. It adds um, a really nice detailed dimension. That's all the way around the bottom of the cabinets. It really kind of steps it up. You have this massive pantry. Oops, sorry, my fingers got in the way. You have this massive little cupboard here for your all your canned goods and uh, cereal and everything you would know, you know, need for your family with soft closed doors. So you can't get mad in this kitchen and slam cabinet doors. It just don't work. <laughs> um, space right here for your coats your shoes everything can be tucked away in this corner and out of the way one cool feature that they added was this plug it pops up it also pops back down and disappears if need be so really nice you have the built-ins here and then coming into the laundry room you have tons of built-ins here with a really deep nice sink a place for your washer and dryer to go and of course the entrance to the home so this will be where you would come in on most days so you can put a carport out there a garage whatever you would like make it a really really nice home beautiful windows i love this pattern that they've put in here it's something that's really different you don't really see that in many homes so i really like that coming into the living room um it is a wide open space so a lot of room for activities Y'all comment down below what movie reference that is. Um, and you have this beautiful cascading kind of stone on either side of where the TV would go. And you have your built-ins down here. So you can put your cable boxes, DVD players, video games, all that kind of stuff. And you can run the cords down to that box 
And we have, of course, plugs and everything back there. I love this feature wall and I love how that turned out. I'm gonna save the master for last. Let's go take a look at these other two bedrooms. By the way, this is a three bedroom, two bath floor plan. So I just wanted to remind everybody of that. So these bedrooms are actually fairly decent size. This one would be my favorite because you get three huge windows, even though one is in the closet. <laughs> you got three huge windows in here, letting a ton of natural light. I don't have a light on in here right now, and it is super bright. So you got enough room for a queen size bed, chest of drawers, everything. Um, coming in to this walk-in closet, and this is a secondary bedroom, and you still have a walk-in closet. Very nice. It is nice to have that window in the closet so you can kind of just keep everything nice and bright and airy. And again, I love those five panel doors. Love them. So here is the secondary bathroom. So you have the two-tone, <laughs> sorry about that. You have the two-tone cabinet. So whereas in the kitchen you have white and here you have gray and you have this beautiful faucet right here. I love how that turned out. Hello. Then you have your one piece fiberglass shower tub combo and you have the black faucet and uh, and handle to match. Very nice. You do have a linen closet here. So this side of the house does have a linen closet, very easily accessible. Here is the third bedroom. This one does still have a ton of natural light. And one thing I always like to mention that these modulars have is a two by six uh, exterior wall. So a lot of insulation goes into these guys. They are built really well. r is probably up there with one of the most well-built homes uh, when it comes to the modular industry. Again, another nice walk-in closet. We do have some stuff stored in here. Um, this particular home uh, will have an attic space, I think. Uh, if it doesn't, I'm sure there's one that could be added. Uh, just different roof pitches make different, um, uh, ah, I can't think today. Make, make the space for an attic. You do have a nice sliding glass door that I forgot to mention with the transom above it. Well, let's go take a look at the master. So coming into the master bedroom, you have two beautiful windows with enough space to put a really, probably a king size bed in between. It is, doesn't, camera doesn't do it justice, but it's just a really big bedroom. So you have a absolutely massive walk-in closet here. You could easily put a chest of drawers over here to kind of tuck everything away if you'd like. Oh, yeah, see there's attic access so you do have attic access in this home which is really nice let's go take a look at the master bathroom sorry about this i forgot to leave the door open <laughs> so you've got this beautiful double sinks you have the gray with the rounded countertop edges and the square porcelain dual sinks dual vanity and you have this glass uh tile backsplash which is absolutely gorgeous and here's a better view of those faucets um, they are really kind of like the old style Victorian, but modern and I, I, I'm here for it. I like it. Oh, up again? <laughs> uh, you do have a beautiful window in the middle and then you have this gorgeous, gorgeous shower. You have the beautiful, uh, white, like Carrera marble tile. Um, of course it's not real marble, but very nice tile. You have a glass inlay here and you have your spigot to turn it on. You have your soap dish have a place to sit and you have an extra rain hit or I'm um, sorry shower head there but then you also have the Amazon rain head there right where that transom window is so it is absolutely gorgeous all the way down the tile all the way back up it is something out of a hotel like a really nice hotel so that is a really nice master bath I think anybody would be ecstatic to have this master bath and of course in here is the toilet so just had to show that. Well, let's go into the kitchen and do final details. So again, this is the Oakmont in Greenville, North Carolina. We will list their contact information down below. Um, this is in our, like I said, our Greenville location. This is a three bedroom, two bath um, home. And there's many different floor plans that you could choose from with this. Um, this is an r home, so they pretty much can build you whatever you would like. If you want to draw it on a napkin, you can bring it in. Uh, keep in mind that we are not doing, we're still not doing pricing just because of the crazy price increases and how everything has been going with COVID. 
Um, so they're still dealing with that internally. And the best bet is just to contact this number down below and get in touch with one of the salesmen here in Greenville, North Carolina. And then that way you can get a correct price for you because we don't want to charge you too much or too little. And we want to make sure that you get the home and the package and everything included that you need. So if you need septic or if you need water, or if you need uh, any of those things, we want to make sure that you it, it is included in your price. So keep that in mind. Um, by the time you see this, prices probably change again anyway. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below and make sure you uh, share this with all your friends and watch all the rest of our videos that we have on our lots here at Downey Homes. We have six locations. We have Elizabeth City, Kinston, Greenville, uh, Beulahville, New Bern, and Moorhead City. So sorry I had to think about it for a second, but we have six locations to serve you in East North Carolina. So make sure you give us a call and come see us. Thanks.